Welcome to Electra Online. We already have a playlist, an entire playlist that talks about how to solve quadratic equations by factoring, so we don't need to belabor the entire topic here, but at least I thought I'd do a couple examples on this video so that we see the whole picture, because in this playlist we want to talk about all the various methods by which we can solve quadratic equations. So here we can simply use factoring, and sometimes you can see right through the problem. We take a look at the first term and we take a look at the last term to determine what we should put in the two binomials here. Since we have a 2x squared here, that means we need a 2x and an x because x times 2x gives us a 2x squared. We also need a 3 at the end. That means that the product of these two must be a, must be a 3. So either I can have a 1 there or a 3 or a 3 and a 1 there. But then I have to take care of the middle term. I need a negative 1 in the middle term. So I also know that I need a positive and a negative sign. So maybe I need a positive or a negative, a positive or a negative. So how do we decide? Well, sometimes we do a little trial and error, or sometimes we can kind of see through it. We want a negative, a negative uh, 1 in the middle. So an x times a negative 3 and a 2x times a positive 1, so 2 times 1 gives us a positive, one, uh, positive 2, x times a negative 3 gives us a negative 3, negative 3 plus positive 2 gives us negative 1, and a negative 3 times a positive 1 gives us a negative 3. So that looks like that's the correct way of uh, factoring that. So since we have two binomials that equal to 0, this means that either 2x minus 3 equals 0 or x plus 1 equals 0. On the left side, we can say that 2x is equal to 3, or x equals to 3 over 2 as being one solution, or on the other side, we can say x equals negative, oh, that should be negative 1, negative 1 as the other solution. Sometimes it's a little difficult to see how to factor like that, so we can use what we call the FOIL method. We put the two uh, numbers here, 2 and 1, so 2 times 1 gives us a 2, and then we put all the combinations in which we can get a negative 3 at the end. If we do the FOIL method correctly, that means that we're looking for a negative 1x for the middle term. So, uh, we're going to multiply this times this and add that to this times this and see if it adds up to negative 1. So 2 times a negative 1 is a negative 2, so 2 times a negative 1 plus 1 times 3, 1 times 3 gives us a negative 2 plus 3, which is a positive 1, so that is not a solution. All right, let's try multiplying these times the second column. So 2 times 1, 2 times a positive 1 plus uh, 1 times a negative 3, 1 times a negative 3, that gives us 2 minus 3, which is negative 1, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for negative 1x for the middle term, so the combination was when I multiply this times these two numbers, right there, I end up with the correct way of factoring that. So now plugging that into our two binomials, I need a 2x and a 1x, so I have a 2x and a 1x, and then 2x is paired with a negative 3, and the 1x is paired with a positive 1. And so again, 3 times a negative 1x is a negative 3. 2x times 1 is a positive 2. That gives us a negative 1x for the middle term, so that's correct. And then again, we do the same as we did before. We say that 2x minus 3 equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0, which means that x equals 3 over 2, 3 over 2, or x equals negative 1 as the two possible solutions. So either we can solve by factoring doing it quickly like this, or if you don't quite see that, we can simply use the FOIL method and systematically get to the correct answer as well. And that is how it's done by solving quadratic equations using factoring.